What's up guys, Antoine here at DPR, and today we're gonna to go over what we did with all the money we received from our customers. It's all about reinvestment. Let's jump right into that. All right guys, as you may have noticed, I have a cold, so it's a really important video I wanted to shoot today, but you know, such as life, so bear with me. Uh, I might screw up a few words, but that's okay. So basically, um, 2021 for us was really another year of uh, reinvestment. I'm saying another year because I feel like it's been that since we started. We're getting money from our customers, from sales, and we're basically putting everything back into you know investing on um, new animals. We've invested more this year than we ever did in the past, like almost tripled what we um, used to invest in the, in the previous years. It has been a very good year. But also, we just went nuts on re reinvesting in some key animals for the future. We're going to work our way all the way to the most exciting snakes. So let's check them out. All right. The first animal is actually in shed, unfortunately. But I, I feel like we're going to be pretty lucky. All of the other ones are not in shed. So this snake is a little girl. She's coming from April um, at ALP Morphs. Um, I'm sorry if I screw anybody's, you know, business or, or name or whatnot uh we're but we're really gonna do our best so this animal here is a fire asphalt 100 percent heck clown so this snake as an adult you could you imagine just putting like just a single yellow belly clown to her would do some you know fire freeway clowns so this animal is going to be really really helpful in the future in order to make some freeway clowns all right this animal here is a pied obviously but it is a special pied um, this snake comes from Matt Pistone and you know, I don't have a lot of pied in my collection, but special in pied is definitely my favorite gene, um, inside of the pied morph. Um, it just creates those, those weird saddles. This one looks fairly regular because you have the typical head stamp, which is fairly weird here also, because you don't have like that little, let me see that little, you know, eye stripe on this part. But special pieds, they have those really, really weird saddles that are going all over the body. And it's fairly untapped as far as pied, um, the special. Obviously, we're going to try to implement that animal into our clown projects to make, uh, so, you know, to make that, you know, special clown pied. All right, so let's keep on rocking those amazing Canadian breeders. And the next snakes, well, they come from John at Phenotype Factory. And unfortunately, he's kind of... Um, leaving the ball python industry he's more going into chondros so best of luck for you uh, in that field but we managed to buy some of those babies that he's selling that are absolutely insane so this one here is actually in shed this is a leopard clown 100% head hypo so the hypo clown is definitely one of those double recessive projects that we really really want to work on uh, very hard in the future and we're gearing ourselves really well in order to produce some crazy looking animals so this is going to be very helpful and this little girl here also um this is a orange dream spot nose hypo 50 percent head comp so nonetheless a visual with a 50 percent head took the gamble on this one this is a beautiful animal i feel like as an adult she will be mind-blowing and also she has that little heart head stamp right in the middle of her you know yeah. uh of her head so this is kind of funny um but these two animals are really really going to be helpful inside of our um hypo clown project all right well i'm repping the gear of the next breeder that we purchased a few animals from nbk reptiles brand of Puchan. you know i breed his animals um but also I buy animals from him. So let's check some of the few girls that we purchased from him this season. So as you may know, I have a hard time managing a lot of snakes. So we're going to try to be quick. Um, this is a female. <laughs> Jesus Christ, is that the first time you get bit by a ball python? <laughs> you bleeding? I don't know. It's okay, okay, that's funny. Um, so this is an Enchi Sputnose 100% head clown female. Um, Phantom Sputnose clown. Pet red exanthic clown 50% head G-stripe a pastel leopard yellow belly head desert ghost and a pastel desert ghost 66% head clown that has a lot of bite to it. Uh, so these are the animals that we picked up from Brian. Honestly, all females, very, very useful uh, snakes in the future in order to produce amazing babies. Uh, and I'm just so impressed by that single snake. And she spot nose head clown. Look at those colors. 
it turned out so well. So I'm really, really uh, excited to be breeding all of those girls in the future. This snake right here is one of the most recent we just got. This is a super chocolate hypo. Uh, this is coming from Joseph at Safari Reptiles right here in Quebec. Um, honestly, I really wanted to have his line of chocolate because look at that quality. We've seen some two super chocolates before, but having super chocolate with that kind of, you know, um, speckling type of granite look on the side. This is just one of the nicest super chocolate uh, quality you're going to be able to see out there. And I'm so, so excited in the future to be working towards adding a visual clown into this. So making like a super chocolate hypo clown. So 100% this female is going to be used in order to produce such animals in the future. All right. So we've been over all of the breeders that we bought from um, in Canada. Now let's jump the borders and let's go see what we get from the United States. So this snake right here is a yellow belly sentinel or paint. The lineage that they're working with is actually paint. Here it's sentinel, but basically it is the same thing. So this animal is coming from Limmy Smidger. Um, and honestly, I am so stoked to have another visual female um, for that project. We have a male visual that's a cinnamon sentinel that we're breeding with a bunch of females in order to make you know some really interesting hats and double hats but having as many visual females as we can will allow us to um, use them in the future in order to increase our odds and increase what we can make with them and i want to give a special shout out to my very good buddy darian um he received that female from me hold her uh for a few weeks and he made that transaction super simple. I'll put all his information down below in the comments if you wanna, you know, just go give him a follow. It's a really good guy and he has a great vision for the future. So make sure to go check him out. So this animal is just awesome. This next snake is coming from Timmy Holmes at Butte Python. Everything's gonna be down below in the comments. This is a fire pinstripe desert ghost female. Desert ghost is smoking hot right now it's really really hard to get your hand on some of those animals and i know he's really regretting selling this girl but i swear bro i'm gonna take really good care of her and she's gonna be very very useful in the future for all of the projects that we have and what's the best with desert ghost is that she looks absolutely amazing right now but after you know a few dozens of meals after a few months she's gonna be just glowing this is an animal that I'm really, really looking forward to see age. So this girl here has been with us for a few months now. Actually, she came in on the very first import from the US uh, of 2021. This is a tri-stripe yellow belly. And uh, we bought her from Sterling Nelson over in California. Insane animal. I am so stoked to be um, working with, you know, the tri-stripe gene. It's very very impressive and it's fairly on tap right now i've seen some combo that just did blew my mind completely tri stripe is going to be a huge part of our industry in the future way more than we think um so i'm really really excited to have such a female and the males that i have lined up for her will produce some of the nicest triple and quadruple heads that you've ever seen I am a huge fan of the confusion, acid, and static gene. While all three are pretty much the same, they're actually the same. They're just like different lines of the same gene, a bit like butter and lesser, banana or coragula. So I've been a huge fan of that gene and I have not a single um, representation of that animal inside of my collection, but I really, really want to get, I really wanted to get into that gene this season. And I was searching for the perfect fit. I needed to have a male, and you know i have a bunch of clowns in here so i really really wanted to get a confusion or acid clown and we managed to get one of those and look at this little boy so this is the first boy that we're going to show today this is a black pastel acid clown um he's coming from kittinger reptile huge shout out to uh jason for making this possible this is a very wonderful animal so black pastel confusion clown and everybody that i'm actually showing this snake to are like are you sure that is really a clown and that's what's the best about confusion and clown is that it really um changed the pattern to a whole other uh direction something that's really really unseen with clown it makes everything so different the allen heads are completely bubbly it's 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 just a 
a gene that I'm really excited to work inside of our clown projects. And what's the best part of any confusion or acid is the belly. So look at that very, very busy belly. It creates something insanely wild. So I'm really, really curious to see in the future what we're going to be able to add inside of this combination. Let's so jump over the ocean and let's go check some of the animals that we purchase uh, from our, you know, contacts in Europe. These two next animals are coming from a friend of mine who was working in a similar facility as NBK Reptiles. And he managed to get his hand on some animals for me. Uh, Fabien, thank you so much. These animals are amazing, great quality, and they're doing very well. So let's have a look on them. These are two desert ghost females. This is just a regular desert ghost, and this is a leopard desert ghost. Desert ghost here in Canada is so hard to find, also in the US. Um, I was really, really lucky to get my hand on these two beautiful girls. We don't have enough visual desert ghost females. So as many as I can get, I will buy them. And the quality is really, really great. So, you know, all desert ghosts are not made equal. They're all different, but I really like, um, some of them really turn gray as they age. They, these, these might actually turn a little gray. Um, the, an answer line that that is a um, Canadian line that some of the breeders are actually working with. I have some here. Um, so the Enhancer line really has that creamy and orange coloration. These are not Enhancers, but I, I still see sort of a resemblance in there. So this is the quality of Desert Ghost that I really want to have inside of my collection. And that Leopard Desert Ghost is truly insane. In real, in person, you'll have the impression that some of the scales have that kind of greenish tint that is really uncommon in ball python and this girl just has it so she's one of my favorite female that we purchased this season this beautiful girl here came from peter morick uh that was a last minute purchase but i'm super stoked to have her in the collection this is a blackhead fire pinstripe visual hypo she is some of my first uh blackhead stuff i really wanted to get some in the past but you know the right animal just never you know came uh, and she is a perfect fit here. Uh, having her as a, you know, visual hypo as well, but with these other genes, she's going to be, I have honestly right now, no clue what I'm going to pair to her, but any male that we're going to have in like two or three years are going to be insane for her. So, and the best part about hypo is that, you know, they look really, really good right now, but as they age, the coloration changed so much. So she, she already changed a lot since we have her. And on the tail, she has that type of like, you know, orange spot along that little dorsal. It's right here. It's really, really cool. So that female is going to be a really interesting animal to look, um, to pair in the future. Okay. Last snake that we're showing today, this one comes from Raf Sim at uh, RSR Reptiles. Um, this is a blackhead GHI hypo, 100% heck clown male. When I saw that animal available, I absolutely knew I had to get him. As I said before, I didn't have any blackhead in my collection. So this is the second blackhead I'm getting, as well as a visual hypo and a 100% heck clown. And he might be one of the meanest snakes that I have in my collection. He's always ready to bite my fingers and always ready to eat. Really good eater, really good animal. And in the future, we're going to have some of the nicest females to pair with him. So one of the females that I'm most excited to is one of the females that we actually produce this season. And it's going to be that girl right here. So imagine. So this is a Mojave Cypress, 100% head calm, 50% head hypo. So if this female proves to be head hypo, we could be making with insane odds a Blackhead Cypress Mojave GHI hypo clown. Can you imagine the look of that animal? Just a GHI Mojave Hypo Clown would be nuts. Adding Blackhead and Cypress on top of that would just be a crazy outcome. So this female is one of the girls that she, that um, this boy will be visiting eventually when he's going to be ready. So that was it, guys. These are some of the best purchases that we made in 2021. We still have a few that haven't made it all the way up to Canada now. Um, I'm still waiting for my biggest investment so far, an animal that will completely blow your mind and will also blow mine when I'm going to hold that stake in my hands. It's a true powerhouse, a huge investment male, one that will change the face of DPR forever. 
I hope you're stoked. I'm stoked. It's going to come eventually, most likely in April or May, something like that. Um, and also I'm getting another mail from Miguel at Always Evolving Python, but this one is going to be kept as a secret all the way up until the moment I have eggs from him. I'm going to be able to show you guys. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video and it's so important to realize that all of these purchases are made uh, possible with you guys, with the customers, with the sales. Um, we're just reinvesting everything that we're getting back into the collection. Uh, it's really, really a pleasure to be, you know, buying those animals. Uh, amazing breeders. All of the, uh, you know, information of those guys will be down in the comments. So you can go check out uh, their Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. On this, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below what was your favorite animal and what would you pair that animal to. And on this, cheers and stay tuned.